loft or not. So if you've got a face that's more dialed, which is what we we're talking about, right? And you've got the speed to advocate for some rotation, then shafting's great. But if you've got a face that's wide open here, and you try and have shaft lean, face is pointing way right, okay? So it all depends about face conditions, it depends about how much speed you can generate, yeah? And it also depends on how kind of shallow you are as well, and what the club face is doing in that position as well. Are you steep? If you're steep, and that face is open, you're gonna require less shaft lean at the ball. If you're shallow, and the face is dialed, and you've got the speed to advocate for it to get the ball in the air, makes sense to rotate and get back onto the ball, right? So you thinking and having the concept of, yeah, I need to get shaft lean because I need to get here, is a little bit out because the only thing you're thinking about is what you see on TV and how much compression and shaft lean you see. You're not taking into account, okay, what are my club face conditions here? What's my club head speed? Have I got enough speed to get the ball in the air? Right? And have I got the right matchups and variables coming into the ball? Am I shallow? Is the club face dial to advocate for a little bit of shaft lean? Yes, shaft lean's good because you can compress it and get the ball in the air if you've got the speed to do it. If you ain't got the speed to do it, it's pointless. 